Back here, more than a month after multiple swatting calls to some local schools, at least one district is giving parents the opportunity to share their concerns and ask questions. Lauren Linder is in Hopewell with more. The Hopewell Area School District is hosting a series of conversations after the hoax threat directed at the high school. The first one taking place right here at the elementary school as officials try to find ways to improve safety protocols for the future. The sound of cheers echoed from the back of Hopewell Elementary School as parents got pumped up watching their kids play Little League. A much different scene than that from more than a month ago on March 29th. When all schools in the district went into lockdown after police received a call that there was an active shooter at the high school. Law enforcement determined the threat was not real, but it left many traumatized, including parents like Brittany Weir, who has two children in the elementary school. I pulled up here pretty early right after I'd heard what happened and there was no police presence. It's one reason why she went to a community meeting with Superintendent Jeff Belt Wednesday night, the first of a series of sessions. Respectfully, they asked to keep it private without media, but Weir got her answer. They're going to make sure that that's not an issue. God forbid if this ever happened again. We wanted to get perceptions from the public and specifically our families because uh, we get a perception of our students because they're in our buildings, but we don't always get the information that goes home. Belt says district officials have reviewed the incident with local authorities, the FBI, SWAT, county officials and administrators and teachers. Hearing from parents is one more piece to the puzzle as they move forward and look over their emergency plans during the summer. I think the most immediate response would be the communication piece. Uh, and it's a, it's a healthy balance of trying to be swift in communicating with families. Um, but also being accurate. On the communication front, Weir says the district has been fully transparent, but she feels it's a shame they have to deal with this altogether. It's scary. I mean, I had to talk to my kids saying that this might not be the first time this happens. It could happen again because just I feel like society nowadays is, you know, out to get you no matter who you are. The district is hosting five more meetings. The next one is May 15th at the junior high school. For now, reporting outside Hopewell Elementary, Lauren Linder, KDKA TV News.